Welcome to Comfort Time with Auntie Unique, where we share testimony stories. Today's story is child animal attachment. I have shared a story with you uh, titled Dog Called Sporty. And um, that was the only animal, four-legged animal, that I fell in love with and lived with. But this is about a child who is an animal lover. What happened uh, with this child is that he wanted an, a dog so much and the parents did not want a dog. But because it meant so much to him, the parents eventually gave in and allowed him to get, the, to get a dog. And he got a dog that he called Reina. He loved that dog so much and because he loved it so much he was also told they are going to be responsible for making sure it's clean so it's built, it's fed and you accompany us when we go for vaccinations and he was happy with that and all that was happening and uh, it was all good. And so um, even as an uh, extended family even when we visited because we saw how he loved and cared for it, we also ended up caring for that dog. And then tragedy hit. So one day, one of the family members was reversing out of the community, I mean, out of the compound. And she hit the dog, and the dog died. As soon as she realized what had happened, she froze everybody who was there froze and now how do you inform the owner of the dog because he was inside the house he came saw what had happened and he was inconsolable he was so broken the person who hit the dog was so broken when they were calling me to tell me this is what has happened i knew exactly what he was going through because i'd gone through that with my dog although my dog chose me i didn't choose her but still the pain is the same so i knew he was grieving and i informed other members of the family and said how do we support him in his grief so we went there my sisters and um, the other extended family his aunties and uncles, we all went to be with him, to encourage him, and also to discuss how do we dispose of that dog, because we needed to find a way that would give him closure. So we agreed, after having a discussion, after coming him down, that the best way would be for the dog to be taken to the vet for burial because others had suggested that uh, we bury in the compound and put a, plant, put a plant where we buried him so that it can be a reminder as that plant grew, he can be reminded that the spirit of the dog was there. But then I was thinking, what if that plant dies? Then you'll be grieving yet again. So we said, no, the best way, the best way for him to even have closure is for that dog to be buried elsewhere but of course he insisted i want to come and be there when they are burying her we said no we managed to convince him that his uncle would take the dog to the vet and they would bury but we sat we talked we grieved with him we encouraged him and that's how uh, the whole process went so i know there are many of us who like to say it's just an animal so why do you have to have a ceremony why do you have to but you know we are dealing with someone's emotion never underrate a person's emotion whether it's a child it's an adult emotions run deep this is where we're finding a lot of us dealing with traumas childhood traumas relationship traumas because we were mishandled when we were going through a rough time. It's very important to address issues there and then. We sat with him, we continued monitoring him, and we asked him if he was ready to have another dog after some period, of course, 
so that uh, he can um, like give that love which is still hard to the dog and after some time he said yes I would like to have another dog and another dog was gotten for him and now he's living happily with that dog and I think he has forgotten I mean the pain is down now it's gone but he will never really forget every once in a while we mention the dog we talk about the dog because that is um, something or an animal that he loved. So whether it's animal attachment, whether it's um, human attachment, when, some, when there's that gap, someone has died, it's important to address the grief, to monitor whether it's a child or an adult, to monitor how they are doing. It's very, very important. So emotions are very, very important, and it's important to ensure that we don't take anything bad that happens lightly, that we support whoever is grieving in their grief. And this story I've shared about my grandson's uh, dog being run over has actually happened to children. I know of a couple where the husband reversed into the child, into a daughter, and the daughter died. And you know, we don't take counseling seriously enough. That couple grieved separately. Instead of coming together and letting that loss connect them even uh, more together, they grieved separately. The husband was blaming himself the wife was blaming the husband and they, they drifted apart. So that is something that you should take seriously. It's, it's a big thing and it should, you should get counseling. You should go and see someone to process that kind of grief. Don't take anything lightly because now those people could not be the couple that they were before because they didn't address their pain. And also it's to remind everybody, when you have children in your compound, ensure that as you are driving out, there's no one around the car. Children are just something else. They hide under tires, they hide behind you. You will not see them, especially if they're little. You won't even see that there's someone behind you. So it's very important to ensure that either everybody's in the house as you go out, no one is following you outside, or if they have to be outside, ensure that the outside has been scanned, that there's no child there. So I hope this helps you to be more careful. I hope this helps you to be more sensitive. And if you have experienced similar instances, please share in the um, comments below so that we can all learn from what happened to you, we can encourage each other and support each other. I hope this also helps you to be more sensitive. Comfort Time continues. Remember to give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe. And remember to share widely so everybody gets to hear our stories. Stay blessed. See you in the next video.